Merry Die Hard Miss. It's Christmas! But we're not here to talk about Die Hard. We're here to talk about the 90s game adaptation to see if it lived up to the iconic movie. Right, let's talk about the plot. The plot is super simple. In the game, you have to reach the top of Nakatomi Plaza, you have to kill the baddies, and you have to free the hostages. That is pretty much it. And it's sort of quite similar to Die Hard, which doesn't take a rocket scientist to watch. You pretty much do the same thing. Hostages, Nakatomi Plaza, big bad guy at the end. So in terms of the plot, it's pretty similar. I'm rating this part, four out of five, yippee ki -yay. So, the characters are pretty similar to the film. In the game, you have to fight through 40 crooks or bad guys to get to the end point. You've got Hans Gruber and you've got Carl, who are different from the rest of the crooks. Uh, Hans Gruber is the last person that you fight, and you are John McClane. So, essentially, I guess it's quite similar to the game again. I'm rating this part 4 out of 5. Yippee ki -yay. Die Hard's film soundtrack is pretty festive. You have Let It Snow, Jingle Bells, Run DMC's awesome track, Christmas and Hollis, but this is where the game version diverges. It's very 90s 8-bit. It's nothing like the movie soundtrack at all, and it just has a bit of a retro feel. So I'm giving the soundtrack 1 out of 5 yippee ki -yays. In terms of difficulty, it's not that difficult at all. It's very much a game of its time. It's not very complicated. Run around, shoot the bad guys, get to the end, save the hostages. However, if the game was made today with these complex, amazing game engines we are so used to, you'd have something probably more akin to Hitman meets Just Cause, which would be kind of awesome. So I'm giving the difficulty rating one out of five yippee ki -yays. If you want 90s game nostalgia and you feel like playing something a little bit different from say Pac-Man or Sonic the Hedgehog or Mario then yeah give it a go but it's not one of the best games of its time it's very much of its time so I would say in terms of comparing it to the film there's no comparison Die Hard the film is absolutely incredible. There's nothing really Christmassy or festive or much in the way of Die Hardness to this game apart from the characters and Nakatomi Plaza. Um, so I'm going to give this overall rating of 2 out of 5 yippee ki -yays. But we always have the movie. Merry Christmas!